Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to understand this error and find the solution. The error is cannot truncate table because it is being referenced by a foreign key constraint. So let's go to the SSMS and take a look. Here, I have two tables. First of all, we are going to create the primary foreign key relationship and then we will truncate the table and see the error and then we will find the solution. Now I have DBO customer table that has a customer ID as primary key. Then there are other columns such as first name, last name and social security. They are not part of a primary or foreign key relationship. Then I have a DBO orders table and I have a order ID, order item name, order item amount and the customer ID. This is the column on which we would like to create the foreign key constraint and we will use the customer ID from our primary table that's DBO customer. So let's go ahead and create these two tables. We are not inserting any data that's fine. Now we will be creating foreign key constraint. We'll say alter table DBO orders add constraint constraint name so whatever the name you would like uh, provide that and then we'll say foreign key and then here we have to provide the column name so here we have a customer id and then you will say references uh, to your primary key column table so we have uh, the table dbo customer that contains the column on which we have primary key so we will use dbo customer and we will use customer id from the dbo customer now let's go ahead and create a foreign key relationship. Now, once uh, the tables uh, have primary and foreign key relationship, uh, and if you would like to truncate them, uh, you will get error, especially in the case uh, if you would uh, truncate the table uh, where, uh, which has the primary key. If uh, you are truncating the table uh, which is uh, having a foreign key, you will have no issues. Uh. So let's truncate DB orders. Uh. There are no records already in the table, we know that. But we don't get any error. It will truncate this table. This is the table where we have foreign key. Now, if we will uh, uh, truncate a DBO customer table that has a that is in the relationship uh, and uh, of a primary and foreign key, and uh, this is the table which uh, has a primary key. So, if I will try to truncate this one, it will throw me error. Cannot truncate table DBO customer because it is being referenced by a foreign key constraint. So it is telling us you cannot truncate DBO customer because it is used by the foreign key constraint. So first of all, we have to find which foreign key constraint is created for this table. We can use a select asterisk from sys dot foreign keys and then we say reference referenced object id that's a equal to object id and we know that the name of the object is a dbo customer we would like to get any foreign keys which are which are uh, referencing a dbo customer table so if i will go ahead and run it we got this foreign key fk underscore customer id okay now once we have that we can simply drop this there are two two solutions okay if uh, you have a small uh, table, you can instead of uh, truncating, you might say, okay, truncate is throwing me error. I can go ahead and delete, uh, delete uh, table. So if you will run this, uh, sorry, delete from table. Now, if uh, we run this one, it will run just fine and it will delete all the records. Uh, now, only one thing, uh, if you have a uh, identity column or all that you have to reset by using dbcc uh, check identity and all that so uh, you can uh, reset the identity by using uh, dbcc but in cases uh, um, you have a lot of records uh, you don't want to use the delete statement uh, in that case uh, you might want to drop the foreign key constraint first uh, and then uh, recreate uh, so let's say in our case we know that uh, which is a foreign key constraint and uh, it is FK customer ID and we know it is on DBO uh, orders table. So if, if we don't know, we can always go ahead and uh, uh, run this statement. This will generate the scripts automatically. We don't have to worry about the parent object and all that. I have scripted this out. So it is alter table and then it's used a schema name. So we get the schema for the parent object. Then we have object name. We get the object name. That's our uh, table name and we said drop constraint and name so I kind of generated this query from the sys dot foreign keys uh, uh, system view 
and uh, here I'm providing uh, what is the referenced object ID so that's the you know, object ID and here I provide the name so that once I provide the name it is converting uh, the name into the object ID so if I run this uh, it will generate the statement for me so don't I don't have to write it you can use the same script for your scenarios and here is our script uh, alter table dbo uh, dot orders drop constraint and fk so you can go ahead and drop it now you know that the foreign key is uh, here on dbo dot orders you can further go here and say it and then go to the cons keys here we also know that this is what it is we can always script out uh, if we need to recreate so script table as create and the new query so you see that alter table DB customer with check add constraint the FK customer ID foreign key and this uh, this is the definition referencing uh, this column so we can copy this one uh, first uh, go ahead and uh, drop uh, the constraint then uh, truncate the table with no issue and then further we can go and recreate this constraint again so this will be quick way to truncate a big table and then creating the constraint will be quick as well so you don't want to use the delete if it has millions of record because it's going to fill the transaction log on top of that you have to reset the identity and all that if in case your table is using identity column and but uh, I will suggest like okay uh, alter the table drop the constraint and then uh, come back uh, truncate the table and then uh, uh, recreate the constraint again uh, so I will have uh, the link for the scripts used in the video in the description uh, and uh, I hope uh, you learned something new from this uh, I will see you guys in the next video